Many turn to nursing homes for help with an aging loved one. For older veterans who don't want to make that move, there's an alternative, medical foster homes. We asked medical foster home coordinator Emily to join us via Skype to tell us a little bit more about this, I think, amazing program. Thank you so much, Emily. This is, this is something I've wanted to talk about more on the show, and I think this is a great conduit for it, because tell us how this program differs from your traditional nursing home experience. This is, in my opinion, one of the VA's best kept secrets. This is a very innovative program where our veterans don't go into nursing homes. They actually move in to private homes and are taken care of by caregivers in a very personalized setting. Um, where they are one of a maximum of three veterans receiving care. So with the individuals who have gone into this program, what kinds of benefits have you seen? What I've seen is it's been such a joy as a social worker to serve our veterans in this capacity. Um, we've had veterans who have nobody at all in their lives to look out for them, to make sure that they get the care that they need. So to see them living on their own in a home where they don't have any human interaction sometimes, except for the times they get out to the doctor, to see them a month later sitting around a table, sharing jokes with a caregiver, having their medical needs met, seeing their faces light up, um, we certainly see increased satisfaction, happiness. We've seen them, you know, even discontinue some of their medications. We had a veteran who was on diabetic medication for years and within months of being taken care of in this setting, they were able to discontinue those medications. Well, Emily, I'm sure one of the big issues is the level of care that, that a certain vet needs. Obviously, in a private home setting, you need somebody that is, that is more functioning pretty much on their own, correct? Not necessarily. Each veteran is screened individually, and we actually are a, considered a nursing home level of care. Some of our veterans do function more on the assisted living end, and some of them are very much in need of constant 24-7 supervision. So we screen these veterans' needs very carefully, and we hope to make an optimal match between what those caregivers are able to safely provide and can, what they need. Can you tell us a little bit more about how this works functionally in terms of the foster homes themselves? The coordinators are responsible for selecting foster homes. So part of our job is screening caregivers to see if they would be a good fit for our program. And we are responsible for um, ha making sure that they pass the physical inspections of their home and that they're up for the rigorous job of 24-7 caregiving. So often when people reach a later stage in life, they're forgotten. And when you look at the statistics, the American Geriatric Society reports that people who are in a nursing home, 40% of them will experience depression. Hard to admit it, but a lot of people, they're just waiting to die because they say that, that the loneliness is worse sometimes just sitting there than death itself. Emily, we love your program so much. Tell people how they might be able to get involved. Absolutely. Well, if you're a caregiver who wants to get involved, I would suggest that you reach out to the social work office at your local VA. And in addition, if you are a veteran or you are somebody who has a loved one who's a veteran who might benefit from this program, we would recommend that you reach out to your local VA and ask to speak to the social work office or have that veteran meet with their social worker directly the next time they present to the VA for a medical appointment and they'll be able to link them to a foster home coordinator who will walk them through the entire process. Great stuff. Emily, keep up the wonderful work you're doing. Thanks so much. I, I want to encourage everyone out there to go to our website to learn more about this program. And I think, again, we need to rethink in many ways how elderly are treated in our society because we are in a segmented world and I think this is just one great opportunity to think long and hard um, about where where people are living the later years of their life so what a cool program I agree I agree and you know of course veterans have done so much for this country that it is important that we show them that we love them and we appreciate them and I think we can do that through programs like this and in addition to making sure they're not lonely independence is a big deal because mm -hmm. according to some studies elderly fear the loss of independence more than they fear dying 
So just allowing them to keep their independence, I think is fabulous.